Hello you, welcome to Geekism. Uh, you join me here in Pinewood Hills episode 2. Thank you so much for all the positive feedback we had on episode 1. We built this uh, little pavilion here um, that's uh, going to sit on its own for a little while till we actually get to it in the uh, in the whole park itself. Just like I said, I wanted to do that as a little bit of a uh, a little bit of a, a muse bouche so to speak of what is to come in the series um, all good feedback in the last one thank you very much one uh, thing that a couple of people mentioned is that not really much happened and I kind of agree sorry about that that was me, mostly me uh, sort of waffling about my thoughts moving forward with the series so to make sure I don't do that again uh, I've actually built a little bit off camera that we're going to go through and then I'm going to do a little bit of time lapse then we'll come back and we'll have a look at how we're doing overall uh, so off camera I started working on the entrance of the uh, the world itself not even the park yet uh, just the entrance to the world you'll see these two large spaces here they are going to be car parks now calm down this isn't going to be an Uthris level car park okay these are going to be pretty simple spaces uh, for people to park on uh, one thing I um, really think that Planet Coaster could improve on is the is the tunnel entrance uh, into the uh, into the world, I guess. And um, I thought one way to cover up that tunnel is to well to make a bigger tunnel. So we've done some uh, some infrastructure. I thought what better way to uh, to really sort of double down on the infrastructure and uh, backstage areas uh, than to build some roads with a classic classic British roundabout uh, reference there as well. Uh, so we've got a large tunnel here that's going into the uh, into the thing here. I'm a little bit limited in what we can do with the terrain here. Uh, and I think a little bit of detail is still needed on top of this tunnel. Uh, but from here onwards, actually quite happy with the results. Um, so we've used the, uh, the asphalt tarmac uh, pathing. Uh, using lots of uh, art shapes to give us some road detailing as well. These might not be perfectly laid out. I think I'm going to change these for arrows as well, but I've tried to do it uh, as best as I can from sort of memory of a road without having to sort of drive around different junctions. Uh, you'll see here on the way out, uh, we've got a great British roundabout here, and uh, I actually made it so that um, uh, you can head off to other great parks. Uh, I'm not comparing myself to these by the way, these are just uh, some of the parks that I've enjoyed watching uh, or still enjoy watching for the most part actually, they're all still being done. Uh, so in uh, in this Planconian world uh, it's just full of different theme parks so you come out of here and you can either head down the A21 to Kuali Beach, the A71 to Jubilee Gardens, the B12314 to Brocaster, uh, to Brocaster sorry, and Alpine Nice is just around the corner lock, it doesn't even tell you what the road name is. Um, the numbers and all that they're right i just got a screenshot of an actual uh roundabout and, and changed the text that's why the numbers sort of fit where they do because that's just you know filling up the space <laughs> but i think it looks pretty good uh, other little things then we start doing a bit of detail here with some rock work rock work is not something i've really dealt with much in uh in planet coast before but a lot of uh a lot of um parks use rock work to fill in space and um, it's very cheap uh, considering and, uh, and easy to sort of fill up areas so we've done that and we built in a couple of benches these aren't usable benches uh, because the pathing actually only runs from here to here this is all pretend path um, and then we have two pedestrian crossings uh, including bollards and uh, these sort of little rumble strips I don't really know what you would call these but they're, I, I believe they're for blind people to know that they're at the edge of the road they're very raised sort of bobbly bits of flooring I have them at most uh, most crossings in the UK uh, and then here it stops them getting uh, damaged by uh, different roads. As you come in, uh, different cars. As you come in there, you've got main parking to the right, overflow parking to the left. Uh, we'll do those in the next episode. In a little bit of detail here, we've got uh, is a little sign here that we've made with some wood uh, that says Vora Terran Ritan. That is Planco. Um, I'll let you figure that out. You can go and uh, have a little play. You could probably have a good guess looking at the logo. Uh, but again, that's just a billboard I've imported there. I'm really enjoying these little details. This is the sort of stuff that I would never have done before. Um, but I'm, I find it so satisfying to do these little little bits of detail. Just using a bit of wood, you know, make it relatively structurally sound and uh, sort of quite an interesting looking uh, bit of... Uh, bit of kit there and it sort of fills the area out and it's all to do with infrastructure and uh, and sort of realism and detail and things like that uh, so there you go that's what we've got so far uh, what I'm going to do in this episode is fill in this space here with our first kind of uh, bit of detail first sort of bit of um, of a set piece our first bit of uh, signage uh, and all that sort of stuff and I would like a Pinewood Hills sign nice big sign that you, you will see as you're coming in on the bus or as you're coming in on a car or even uh, if you've just randomly 
walked down a tunnel for no reason uh, like these like have one's well, nice big sign here nothing too fancy because again budget is going to be an issue here but this is uh, the idea here is a sort of sign that's probably been replaced uh, over the years a couple of times uh, so we're going to jump in to a time lapse and uh, and see what we come up with
So there we go, Pinewood Hills. The opening sign is done. Um, we've got here, oh, we've got a bit of an issue there. Our uh, pine is a bit too high. Uh, these aren't actually pines, they're poplars. The, the, there is a pine in the game, a couple of different pines and spruces, but they're uh, they're all pretty big. So I've gone for these slightly more manicured uh, type uh, looking trees here. And uh, I still think they've got a sort of pine look about them. I think most people would let me off. Um, so we've done a, a custom sign here, Pinewood Hills, using the art shapes. Um, this could be a little neater. The problem is that's as small as the art shapes go. If they just went a little smaller, you could get some slightly nicer curves. But uh, that really is the best we can do with that. Uh, and on the hills here, we've just used um, a couple of them thicker to, to give that variation. And then we've used some of the cable pieces here. Uh, to act as supports uh, that we place along there to make it uh, to make them all stand up on end um, so they wouldn't blow over maybe need to support the goat that runs through the hills there perhaps because all these would be a little bit precarious just sort of balancing on that one post there but again it's all these little bits of detail that i'm really enjoying having to do um, i hope the uh, i think the world the, the wall excuse me has turned out quite nicely and uh, i quite like how we've got these uh, these sort of sconces here uh, obviously they don't look fantastic at night time because they don't reflect the heat, the uh, the light very well. Uh, the lights uh, that are below them just sort of radiate from the outside. But I can live with it so that we can have a bit of a different style of light. Um, here I've tried to light it up uh, as best I can, uh, but I wanted that sort of very uh, sort of open open light uh, that um, you know not not necessarily covering all of it. Uh, I feel like maybe we could do something here on the P uh, separately. But I kind of like the fact that uh, that it doesn't cover all of it. You know, maybe the odd bulb's gone, that kind of thing. I mean, we could do something like this, but unfortunately, it's going to be going to be really bright. I'm not so sure it'll uh, it'll work. I quite like the fact that it's a little bit ropey, not quite lit up very well. Uh, and then around the back here, we've got some nice pathing lighting here, uh, and a big old sign that says "Come back soon." Again, the text is a bit funky when it uh, when it lights up, uh, but in the daytime, uh, you just get that, and uh, it sort of acts as, as a as a bit of a bro uh, a blocker there. Uh, so you don't just see the uh, the road as you're coming back out again. This isn't going to go here, by the way. I've literally just stuck that there to get the thumbnail. Um, so we've got a bit of detail. This thing's going to get moved around a lot before it actually gets settled where it's going to be. Uh, so in the next episode, we'll probably look at finishing off the uh, the car park here. Uh, a bit of detailing around either side of the car park. And then we'll start working on... We're going to have a nice curved entrance here, uh, which is going to be where you're, uh, where our ticket booths and uh, our entrance point is before we end up heading into the uh, the main park proper. Thank you so much for watching, hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please give us a like, it really does help out the channel. And if you're not already, don't forget to subscribe. Any thoughts, queries or suggestions, pop them down in the comments. And if you fancy chat, you can find me on Twitter, I'm at John T. Sparrow. Please, if you'd like to join in with the Geekism community, you can find us on our Discord server. You'll find the link in the description. Thanks again for watching, I'll see you in the next one.